What's up guys, welcome back. So by now you should have three nodes created plus we want to have created two springs between nodes one and two and between nodes two and three. That was what we did in the previous video. And we finished off by just about defining some properties within our springs. And in order to do so, remember that we have to have our memory definition tool selected. Right click on that guy, go to properties. Remember it should be highlighted red because that's what we're dealing with here, okay? so. Let's just try this. We're selected member definition tool. We want to modify your node. Nothing's happening. And we select the joint tool. Oh look, now it's done. Okay, so keep that in mind. You need to have the member definition tool highlighted to define or select your properties of that in particular member. Okay, go to properties. So member number one, member number two. So if we look down, oh, they aren't showing, but to show those, all we need to do is display member numbers on the status bar. Now we've got number one and now we've got number two. So, sorry, we'll go back into properties. So that's what those are referring to, the start joint and your end joint, one to two, two to three. Everything makes sense, okay. Now we have our, where'd it go? Material name. So we can define it as steel or nominal or concrete or whatever. But for these, in this case, we just wanna leave it as steel for now. Member type, linear axle spring. So remember before we selected our member type up top by uh, using the properties bar and it's linear actual spring. So that's good, everything makes sense. Uh, release moment, we don't need to be dealing with that right now. Uh, rigid, rigid, we shouldn't be dealing with any of these right now. Those don't matter for the beginner tutorial series. Um, okay, so now we wanna go to stiffness slash pre-stress. Depending on what model of uh, S-Frame software you have, it'll either say stiffness or pre-stress. So they mean the same thing. I remember I was using a, an older model and it just said pre-stress and it took me a while to figure out what that actually meant. But just know that it is the spring stiffness. So they're at zero, zero. They'll always by default be zero, zero. So we need to define these and they are in kilonewtons per meter. Remember that was selected before um, when we were opening up our new file, we defined that, but we can also change that. But for now, we'll just leave it as kilonewtons per meter. So let's just give it a 200 and 200. And those are all we need to worry about right now. Don't worry about the other columns. Just uh, what we dealt with pre-stress was the big one, okay? Press okay. So now we've got a spring stiffness and we've modified properties of our spring member.